In this tutorial we're going to go over the shuttle controls and timeline which basically live at the bottom of the viewer here. First up we have current frame. So if we move the playhead we can see that this updates to whatever the current frame is. We can also use this as an input field so I could type 45 enter and we go back to frame 45. This padlock locks the viewer to the script's current frame. That is the frame that will get returned with expressions or script code. So if I double click this blur and put an expression in this size knob, so go add expression and type frame, we can see that the playhead and this size knob are in sync. But if I uncheck this padlock, now the viewer is free to go off on its own while the script stays at the last value here, 9. So now I move it, it's in sync, I uncheck it, it's not. So scrubbing through an unlocked viewer will not change the script's current frame and animated nodes won't update. When a viewer is unlocked it can display a different frame from a locked viewer. So if I have two viewers like so, now you can see I've got two viewers in the node graph. At the moment it's at 7 but if I move this to 30 this stays at 7 or I can move it to whatever value or frame I want but as soon as I lock it it's going to go to 30. Back to my default layout, Shift F1. Now we're on to the shuttle controls. So this is going to step forward 10 frames or back 10 frames or whatever value I enter in that box. So now we step forward 5. So let's uh, view this bezier here. Let's double click it. So first frame, which is also home with the hotkey. Last frame, end. If you want to know what the hotkeys are, just hover over and up will come the tool tips. So next one is previous keyframe. So that's going to give us frame 20 at this point. We can see we've also got a keyframe on frame 1. If we hold down the command key, it will split the difference and give us frame 10. And we can see in this case that would be quite good as my roto drifts off at frame 10. If we want to do that with solely hotkeys, it would be alt command left arrow for previous and alt command right arrow for next. So then we have play backwards. Hotkey is J. Stop is K. Play forward is L. Uh, then previous or next frame is a right arrow, or so that would go one frame at a time, and then back one frame, which is the left arrow. Next, we come to the frames per second. So if we just zoom in here, so you can see that this is what Nuke's going to try and play back at at 24 frames a second. So if I click, we can see that it's actually achieving 10 at the moment, but once it's cached, it'll get a bit higher. So this is giving you what it's going to attempt to play back and what it is playing back at. Also here we have end of frame behavior, so we saw we had loop at the beginning, that was stop, next is bounce. So we can see now that that will bounce back. Okay. Now we come to the in and out control, so we see I've got a playhead here. If I want to set my in point, what I do is I hold down the command key and while I'm left of the playhead, anywhere I drag will set that in point. Now if I want to set my out point, I have to be to the right of this uh, playhead. If I'm here and I hit the command key, it's going to still set my in point. So I have to be that side of the playhead to set my out point. And now we can see that I've got 10 to 35. I could change that to say 40 here. And now if I use my playhead, it's going to be play between the two. Maybe I want a loop. And also if I click there I go back to my previous setting. Next we come to this drop down here. So this is saying global and we can see that the frame range is 1 to a 50. 1 to 50 rather. So if I go to project settings you can see that I have project settings of 1 to 50. But if we now go over and have a look at this node here. So if I click on it. We can see at the moment we're at frame 24. So if I press play nothing really seems to be happening here. That's because if we double click on this node we can see that it's got a frame range of 120 to 240. So to force the viewer to display that, I would go input. And now we're looking at frame 120 to 240. If I zoom while over this um, timeline, so, so let's do a drag like that, middle mouse drag, you can see now I have a new frame range of 156 to 177. And that is represented by custom. So if I press play, you can see now it's going to go from 156 to 177. And if I zoom in even closer, 
I now have a new frame range of 161 to 163 and that's custom again. So if I want to go back to input, now I get to see the whole range of that node.